<laughs> as you've seen in the past, he's a charming person, and I got to keep him in line. And I'm, I was, he put a photo up a long time ago of uh, I'm kind of like a, a Star Wars reference to uh, like he posted a picture of Jabba the Hutt and Bib Fortuna. I'm like kind of behind his ear, always whispering things like, "Do this." Do that. <laughs> and he made a JPEG of like his face on Job of the Hut and me on Bib Fortuna because he's like, yeah, that's kind of how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the legal counsel without the pay. Exactly. It's all fun and character building. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So uh, I, I guess he just kind of hands second stage over to you, right? Yeah, when he, when he actually, when he first started doing it, when Reggie's, I mean, there's two stages that Reggie's doing, but they said we can use both. He was like, well, he put me and this other guy in charge of it, and the other guy had other things going on in his life, and he wanted to do it. And he's like, he can handle it? I'm like, I could try it out. I had really no experience besides a long time ago kind of helping out at shows here and there, and it kind of just ran itself then once it started, you know, once the word got out, there's a festival in Chicago, and a lot of people wanted to involve, so it kind of made it easy. Yeah. And I was getting a little trickier because... With this press getting larger, everyone wants in. So it's kind of, you gotta kind of be the jerk saying, "No, you're not cut out for it," and, or you're, you know, you're too big for this stage, or that. You know, it's kind of the it could be politics end of it. But. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the, I, I understand. I, you know, running the Throwback Fest, there, there's a different twist to it for sure. But uh, I mean, I, we're certainly no caliber close to what uh, Ragnarok has done. But uh, you know, just just to throw out a kudos to you and Odin both. Uh, you know, when we found out that we're not assholes to each other, working together has been kind of a cool cool ride. You know what? I totally wish that there was, like, no could be politics with all the festivals in this right. state. But overseas, if I wouldn't help each other out, it would be so much easier, even with getting bands, because there's so much, like, perhaps you could don't share this with this one, this one, but it's like if everyone helped each other out, yeah, it's the stronger scene with the festivals and stuff. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. We'll we'll, we'll make an example and, and do the do the right thing. So I, I appreciate you being on board for that. But back to the fest. Uh, so uh, besides, you know, obviously the the killer lineup that you've got on the second stage and and, and uh, working together with Odin on the main stage. Uh, there's other there's other shit in store. I mean, you've got a pre party going on, correct? Oh, correct. Yep, on Thursday night at the Mutiny. It's basically like there's gonna be some vendors there probably. And we had a we had, we had a Basically the same place they have it at. We had a record swap there today, and it's kind of like a local bar that they love when we have this, this little thing there because everyone locally, a lot of the out-of-towners, bands show up, and basically if we have some people playing music over the PA there, and everyone kind of kicks back and hangs out and socializes because once the show's going on, it's so hard to sit and socialize because you're like, well, I could talk to this friend I haven't talked to in a year in person or watch this band I'll never see live again. Right. Kind of like, so this is a way that everyone kind of hang out and catch up on old times so it's good time that's that's very cool and actually it uh you know goes right back to that whole metal community thing we're talking about this is a chance for everybody to get to know each other before it gets a little too busy the day after exactly it is exactly yeah. that's a key thing that's the fun about these festivals a lot of the same guys travel around to all these festivals so you get to see everybody you know once a year and i made so many friends just from doing this that i look forward to that thursday night to go i can catch up with everybody that's a show you're running as you know doing the throwback fest you're running around all the time and you can't talk to anybody. You're, just, you're, you're constantly fixing problems and trying to get this band over here. And yeah. So I love the Thursday night thing. It's great. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to capitalizing on it big time where I didn't have to organize shit and I'm there to have a good time. <laughs> exactly. You can come and just enjoy the show, play, sell stuff, and network and see everybody. And that's the best thing about it. You know, it's and that's the key thing with the festival. It's like these things are just great for everybody involved and. I get mad when people don't want to be involved. I'm like, this is a great way to get your band out there. If you have a fanzine, a yeah. website, you just to meet people and get it out there. And these are the kind of things that it's springboard to getting a larger audience. Well, the cool thing is, is I've interviewed some of the bands that uh, you know are playing both stages, uh, do, playing those interviews all night tonight on the show. Uh, and the cool thing is, is I'm hearing from most of them that uh, they're not just coming in for a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and playing and leaving. They're sticking around. It's it's all yeah. That yeah. that was last year. Last year, everybody stuck around. I mean, it was so cool to like when like Riot was playing. I turned around and every band that was there that day playing, and even the next day, were all up front and stuff. And it was so cool to see all the everyone everyone there to see the show, and not just like you said, I'm coming to play, and we're gonna leave when we're done. Yeah, I mean, everyone stuck around, so it was really cool. That's very cool, and I think that's what people expect from a fest environment. And 
And unlike a lot of other genres, that's what you can get from a metal community. And I think that's badass. It's very true. It's because people think people always go, well, what's different than this than a normal show? And that's the key thing. It's like everyone sticks around. Everyone's there for the bands and show and meeting people. Where a normal show, people will do the thing of coming late and missing the opening bands. Yep. I'm there for the headliner. Here, every band is almost like a headliner quality in one way or another. So right. you're getting from top to bottom great bands. Awesome, awesome. Well, another thing you touched on that I wanted to make sure everybody's aware of, uh, you guys facilitate some tables for these bands to get their merch out there. Yep, and, and even two of the nicest, the club and the fest, you know, we don't take any money from, like, merchandise sales. So it's like when bands come, they could sell and make as much money as they want, and it's great. And we have a you know, full room for the bands to sell merchandise in this year. Last year we had it, like, it was very tight, so that now the club actually has a whole room for band merchandise. So we have a whole extra room now for everyone to set up and have a nice little display. And so it's going to be great. It's going to be something new this year. Yeah, very cool. For, hey, for those people not from Chicago and, and rolling into town, I mean, it's a little too late. It's, it's probably too late for them to worry about where they're going to stay at this point. If they haven't figured it out, you might as well get a sleeping bag. But uh, exactly. <laughs> but other than that, what can they expect as far as, you know, uh, walking distance to places to eat? I know Reggie's probably has some growth. Reggie has a huge, amazing restaurant, a vegetarian, vegan, and, you know, lover food. Yeah. It's like a whole microbrewery bar tap. It's actually, like a, you know, a really good restaurant. It's not just like a club restaurant where they have, like, frozen pizzas and burgers. They actually have, like... It's a full-scale restaurant inside. Cool. And there's a place next door that sells kind of like a little diner place. And there's a White Castle, if you like, late-night, great <laughs> burgers. Where they're dirt cheap. You can eat a full meal for like $4 there. So, great. And that, that area is in the Chinatown is right across the street. So, if you like Chinese food, you can walk a block and a half to Chinatown and have, you know... Anything there, and and it's, 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 the train is a block and a half, so you can go right to downtown Chicago in the morning and afternoon, and sightsee. And it's like two fifty for a train ride, and you can go right downtown Chicago and check out the lakefront. You know, any museum is right there. The built, you know, you can go to Sears Tower and be back by Reggie's by Showtime. And you can get you know best of both worlds. You can do the half a day of tourist stuff and half a day of the fest. So, well, that's an ideal pretty- location. Yeah, that's very cool. And, you know, going back to the places to eat, you know, when, when somebody's not from the area and they fly into Chicago, uh, they're thinking about what everybody said. Oh, you got to go get some sliders, etc. And it probably is a little bit of a letdown, uh, but, you know, whatever. You got to try. Yeah. If you haven't been there, you got to hit it up, right? Yeah, even, even too, there's, if you have access to a car or a buddy who's got a car or want to cab it, there's a lot of cool places like Lockdown Bar and Grill, which is probably like a, Ten fifteen dollar cab ride away from where Reggie's is, and it's like a metal bar, and they have metal music playing. They have Iron Maiden concerts playing there, and they got amazing hamburgers. A lot of the out of towners actually make a effort to like go there. Nice on that Thursday because it's like kind of like the cool place to eat, and it's great food. But it's like people, you know, so people kind of research. I get, I've got emails people saying, "Hey, I'm in town. I'm you know, coming on Friday early. Where can I go for some really good like pizza? Where can I go for a good you know?" beef sandwich so yeah people kind of you know the foodie people are all excited so it's yeah. cool that's very cool well that's some great information uh, the uh, uh when you look on google maps right next door you see uh, a record store uh, is that any yeah, right, they got a record store right upstairs uh at the club and that's open until like 11 o'clock they've been kind of dismantling it the cd section they're gonna put a third stage upstairs i heard so there's like a, I think they still have a big CD sale going on where everything's like half price or something. I'm not sure the prices, but it was like dirt cheap. They got a big vinyl section there. So during the showtime, you can go right upstairs to the record store and go record shopping. And they got t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. And they also have a rooftop grill. So if you want to eat, we're in kind of peace and quiet for a half hour. You can go upstairs to the rooftop and eat outside and drink up there and hang out. Oh, that's like a, very cool. Very it's a cool. really all-exclusive, really cool club. You got, you know, it's got a big stage room, the, sm- the second stage room, the band's little merch room, and then the record store upstairs, the rooftop. There's a lot, that, you know. Like I said, it's a nice place because they're out of town, and they're open at like eleven o'clock or something in the morning. The restaurant, so you could wake up at the hotel, come over there and have lunch at Reggie's. Yeah, yeah. Go record <laughs> shopping and then hang out and go to the show early. Then so there's Sounds a lot like a you can prime, do. Oh, definitely a prime location to have a fest. Oh, yeah, when we, Mike got, was able to get it, I was like, that was a huge score. Because even, too, locally, 
that's the club everyone knows. That's like the Chicago yeah. metal club. So it worked out, and they're amazing. And, and, the, and people who haven't been there before, the sound is like the best really here in the city. It's like all pro. The crew that works there is amazing. So right. you never walk away disappointed. I'm getting a text right now that says, make sure you ask them where to get the best coffee. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> so you're the wrong person I, could, I, could, I couldn't tell you at all where to get coffee. But if anyone wants, just post on our Facebook wall. If anybody's got any questions about food or hotels or anything, just post and I you run the, the Facebook page so I can get back to you ASAP.